hundreds. No, I've got a problem, chaps. I need it fixed. Oh, oh, oh my lord. Oh. What is it? It's converting fractions to decimals. What are we going to do? Genius. Right, well, we've got this mission from Tuckerkill. What are we going to do? Because I can't do it. Can you do it? No, I can't. So, um. Who's the best? I think we could go and see Miss Postland. Miss Postland, help us. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go in there. Go, quick. Miss Postland. It's an emergency. So what now? Mr Tucker's given us a mission. We need to convert 125th into a decimal and then maybe a percentage if you can do that. Can you do that, miss? I can do that. It's easy to me. Will it be easy to you, though? Let's have a look. So if we take 1 over 25, remember, what's a percentage always out of? Uh, 100. Excellent. So what we're going to do is put it over 100. Remember the equivalent fractions that we've done before? Yeah, yeah. All we've got to do is think about times in here. Times that by four to make 100. Oh, times there by four to make it into the number four. One Fantastic. Once we've got it out of there, we can change it straight into 4%. That's fantastic. Yeah? Remember that? That's wonderful. Brilliant. What about that bit into a decimal? Oh. I know, that line means divide. Four divided by a hundred. Then we've got the columns. Units where I'm going to put the four. But when I divide by hundreds, it's got to go back two columns. Oh, back oh, two. It's back there. Two. Is that okay for you? Can 0. you remember 0. that? 0.04, that's 0. wonderful. 0. So 1 25th is 4 over 100, is 4%, 4 percent, Gil. And 0. 0.04. 0. 0.04, Fantastic. Thanks, so you've miss. got that one? We've got that. Cheers. Got Off we go. Cheers, miss. Go Let's go. Bye. Bye. Right, we'll post and sort this out there, Gil, but we've got another one to do, mate. We've yeah, got we to do, do uh, two fits. How two the fits. hell are we going to do two fits? Well, I'll tell you what, there's these two in here. One of them's got a maths degree, I think. Oh, I think they? both of them have got a maths, maths degree. Two maths degrees, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Right, guys, we need your help as you're okay. not doing anything at the moment. We've got a mission from Tucker, we're on a mission from God. We've got to convert two fifths, yeah, a fraction two fifths into a decimal and a percentage. How the hell can we do that, guys? Can you help us? Oh, wow. Two fifths. Two fifths. We're there already, Gil. There's the fraction two fifths. Wonderful. What do we do now? Right, we've got to get that over a hundred. Hundred? Ah, how do we put that's that over? It. That's what Miss Posen was doing, wasn't yeah. it? Putting it over a hundred. So how right. do we get that to over a hundred? We need to multiply it by what, Jack? 20. Multiply by 20, 20 times yeah. 5 is 100. That's wonderful. Brilliant. It's 100. Right. Fantastic. Right. So yeah. what about that top number then? What do yeah. we do? So you yeah. always do the same to the top as what you do to the bottom. Oh, oh right. Right. Yeah. yeah. Rule yeah. of yeah. fractions. Uh, times 20. Oh, Fantastic. Wait, correctly, Charlotte. So that's going to be 40, isn't it? Ah, oh, 40, 40 over 100. 100. Right, OK. Brilliant. So what would that be then? As what's that as a percentage? Oh, what's that as a percentage? Well, a percentage is always out of 100. Ah. Uh, yeah. Oh. So, yeah. therefore, it's going to be 40%. Oh, brilliant. So you put it over 100 and then just take the top bit? If it's over 100, because you know it's, a percentage is always out of 100. Marvellous. If it's not, then you need to look at this, then you need to alter it if you either simplify it or. Okie do dokie. Into it. Mr. Dawson, how would we turn that into a decimal? Into a decimal, you need to divide it by 100. Could you divide show us? Yeah, I don't know what you're talking us, sir? about. I don't get it. Cheeky way to do it, you've got your 40%, you're going to divide it by 100. So what you can do is just bounce the decimal point across two places to the left. So you're starting here, you're going to bounce it across one, bounce it across again, put your decimal point in, and put your zero in front. So your answer is going to be 0 0.40. Okay? Because we're lazy, we like to get rid of the zero, and it equals 0 0.4. Look at that. So you're trying to tell me two fifths is 40 over 100, that's 40%. Mm -hmm. And then we just divide, because the line is divide. Oh, yeah. And we take that two spaces, 0.4, Mr. Gill. Fantastic. Wonderful. And what a couple of pens. Good pen. Good pen. Good pen. Good pen. Seven tenths. Can you see that? See uh, that, Mr. Miller? Can you do the seven again, sir? Seven. 
We're in. We're in. We're in. We're in. Seven tenths. We've got to make it to a percentage, yeah? Percentage. Percent means out of a hundred. Oh, I'm gonna write that's supposed to be Out of a hundred. Out of a hundred. How do I get from ten to a hundred? Add ninety. No, 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 no. Ninety-seven out of hundred. Multiply. 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 Multiply.